What's up guys? Ollie Brown, certified personal trainer here at Brian University coming at you with another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about consistency. So I need to talk to you guys. This is something that's been weighing heavy on me for a while now. I feel like I gotta get it off my chest. There's been a secret in the fitness industry and in the fitness world in greater context that's been passed down ever since the times of the ancient Greeks and the Olympics. And the secret I'm gonna to give to you today. This is a secret that has let people build massive growth in their muscles and the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system and their overall mental and physical health. And I'm gonna give you the secret today. This is a secret that's been used in ancient Greece, China, Russia, the Mediterranean, Egypt, Australia, the United States, and now I'm gonna give it to you. What is the secret, you may ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. The secret is... There's no secret. Oh, sorry to hate break it to you guys. The real secret, consistency and hard work. Oh, <laughs> that sucks, right? But the good news is, that's something we can all do, and that's something we can all strive for. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. What it means is that over time, we see results by staying true to a program, staying true to our goals, and building on that consistency to achieve what we want to achieve. The last two years have been stressful for everyone, and it's an unprecedented time. A lot of people have suffered through depression, anxiety, all sorts of different um, setbacks, drawbacks, businesses closing, work-related stress. But what we're gonna talk about today is a mindset that will allow you to push through those. Hopefully this will help some people who may think they're the only ones going through this issue. Take it from me, even as a personal trainer and someone who has been exercising regularly for a long time, it's easy to go through those ebbs and flows and find yourself in a plateau where it's hard to dig yourself out. But hopefully by posting this video and expressing that, it happens to everyone. No matter what fitness level, no matter where you are in your life, we can get through it and we'll get through it together. The first one we're gonna talk about is time and stress management. If you're a person who has no experience in the fitness industry or in the fitness, uh, the fitness world, never even seen a dumbbell, whether you've never been into a gym, this is an awesome place to start. If you're an elite athlete, this is something you can always get better at. Something that you can, you can zone into and really make the best out of your time so that you can get the most efficient workouts, the most efficient meals, make everything flow and make everything work together efficiently. I'm gonna give you guys just a couple small things you can work on. Whenever it comes to stress management, even just sitting by yourself doing some breathing. This is not something that I've read out of a, uh, you know, a textbook anywhere. This is just from Ollie Brown to you guys. That's something that has worked for me and I think it'll work for a lot of people. Taking yourself out of a situation, taking some deep breaths in a quiet room or outside and focusing on what's going on, just taking time to realize that you're a person, you're allowed to have these stresses going on, but they do not control you and they do not dictate your life. Time management. Setting a schedule, something that can benefit anyone. Make a schedule, and I'm stealing this from Jordan Peterson, whose lectures I appreciate a lot. Make the schedule that would allow you to have the best day you could possibly have. It's not locking you into anything set or dictated by anyone else. How would you, as your boss, or someone who is, is in charge of making sure you do well, how would you structure that? so that you have the best day possible. And I think with those two things, even before you go into any of the other factors, those two things would make a great deal of difference. 